Good day and welcome. Ever wondered how you can determine distance between two places on a map? Well, this is what we will be doing today. But first, we are going to look at the different kinds of scales you will find in an atlas. These scales include world, regional and local scales. We will also look at line scales, word scales, and ratio scales. We will then look at how you can calculate distances between settlements using different scales. Should you have questions or suggestions, please do not hesitate to email us on the address given below. So let's dive in. Maps in an atlas can vary in size because they don't all use the same scale. The scale of a map is determined by the size of the land it shows. For instance, some maps display the entire world, while others focus on a specific province or country. The scale of a map is influenced by the size of the area it covers, and generally, the larger the area, the smaller the map scale. Maps are like accurate drawings of different parts of the world, and each type provides unique information about the area it depicts. The scale of a map helps us figure out the actual size and distances between places or objects shown on the map. We often talk about maps having either a small scale or a large scale. But what does that mean, and why do maps use different scales? Well, the Earth is so big that if we tried to put it on a map without making it smaller, the map would be too huge. So, we use a small-scale map to shrink down the world and fit it onto a sheet of paper. A small-scale map shows something big, but with very little detail. Look at this world map. It's a small-scale map that shows the entire world, but with only a few details. You can't see things like rivers, cities, hospitals, and roads. Now, check out this map. It's a large-scale map, and it shows a small area with lots of details. A scale is a way of accurately representing objects smaller than their real size. There are three main types of maps in an atlas, world, regional and local map. A world map shows maps of the world and continents. It provides a broad overview of the entire globe. Because it shows the entire world, T is often less detailed. A regional map focuses on parts of a continent, for example, southern Africa. A local map is a map of a province or map of one country. It zooms in on smaller areas, like cities or neighborhoods. Because it focuses on a small area like a city or town it has high detail. Within these three categories maps have different scales depending on the size of the area they show. We have line scales, word scales, and ratio scales. Let's talk about the line scale. Think of the map like a giant puzzle of the world, but shrunken down so we can hold it in our hands. Now, imagine we have a special ruler printed right on the map. This ruler helps us figure out how far things are from each other in real life. This special ruler or line scale is usually split into equal parts. The line scale might say that one centimeter on the map equals 100 kilometers in real life. So, if we measure the distance between two places on the map with this ruler and then use the scale, we can find out how far apart those places are in the real world. But here's where it can get a bit tricky, the line scale compares different measurements. For example, it might compare centimeters on the map to kilometers in real life. Using a line scale is as easy as using a ruler. But remember, the line scale measures in kilometers, while rulers measure in centimeters. If the distance you measured on the map is longer than the line scale, you'll need to do a little calculation. Let's say you measured 15 centimeters on the map with your ruler, and the line scale says that 1 centimeter is equal to 10 kilometers. 
that means you multiply 15 centimeters by 10 kilometers to find out the real distance between those two places. In this case, it would be 150 kilometers. A word scale uses a statement in words to describe the scale of the map. This is a written statement on the map that tells you the relationship between map distance and real-world distance. For example, it might say 1 cm on the map represents 200 km on the ground. If we measure the distance on a map between Cape Town and Johannesburg, the measurement is 6.2 cm. We then have to multiply that measurement by 200 km to calculate the real distance between Cape Town and Johannesburg. So, 1,240 km will be the actual distance between Cape Town and Johannesburg. Ratio scale is a third way of representing a map scale. Ratio scale represents the scale as the same unit of measurement on both the map and the ground. For example, 1 mm on the map represents 10,000 mm on the ground. Ratio scale compares distances on the map to distances on the ground in the same units. In the case of 10,000, one unit of measurement on the map represents 10,000 units of the same measurement on the ground. So, 1 mm on a map will represent 10,000 mm on the ground. 1 cm on the same scale map will represent 10,000 cm on the ground. If the scale is 1 to 50,000 and the map distance is 4 cm, the real world distance will be 4 multiplied by 50,000 giving us 200,000 cm or 2 km. We need to remember how to convert millimeters to meters and converting centimeters to kilometers. To convert millimeters into meters, we divide by 1,000. There are 1,000 millimeters in a meter. To convert centimeters to meters, we divide by 100. There are 100 centimeters in 1 meter. To convert meters into kilometers, you divide by 1,000. There are 1,000 meters in 1 kilometer. We have come to the end of our class today. But before we go, practice the following questions. Should you have any questions or suggestions, please email us. Otherwise, until next time, keep well.